Yes, you go. Okay, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title today, I'm going to be doing my unpopular opinions about back to school. So let's get straight into the video. you guys how do you like this lighting because I switch if you don't know I have a ring light and ring lights normally come with these clear things to go over the lights but I put on orange ones so comment down below what you guys think about that and I also tried to put my hair in a bun if you watch my Instagram for just my day you know I was struggling go watch that it'll be in the eye up here or over here I'm pretty sure it's over here but like I said we are going to be doing my unpopular opinions back to school edition now, if you disagree with anything I'm saying, please comment down below. Don't be disrespectful about it because YouTube does have guidelines. But before we start, make sure you subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And if you're new, click the notification bell and also give this video a big fat thumbs up. So first, I'm just going to start with something basic that everybody should know. And if y'all don't know it, y'all going to hear it for the first time in this video. I am at school or we are at school to get an education, not to make friends. If you disagree with this, comment down below. I don't know. I, I'm at school to um, get an education, not not make friends. Like, if you don't like me, okay. Like, what do you want me to do? That sounds like a you problem. You don't like me, that's a you problem. But if somebody don't like you that go to your school, forget about them. Next, we have needing extra school supplies. I'm the extra person that got to get extra school supplies, like I'm gonna get that um, little mini stapler with the electric pencil sharpener, need all them highlighters, all that. I'm that extra person. And I don't even really need it. All that money is wasted at the end of the year. And then I'm probably not gonna use the previous year or the, I mean, not the previous, the year after that. So it's just a waste. But really, this one is saying. When teachers tell you to bring like tissues and sanitizer, if they not many, like that's going to the class, not actually yourself. So you telling me that I gotta bring stuff for you? No. Nah. Next we have people or friends trying to make you dislike someone else because they don't like them. It's so, so, so immature. Like you trying to tell me I can't hang around this person or can't talk to this person because you don't like them. How crazy does that sound? I can't be friends with them because you don't like them. Did y'all hear my stomach? If you think I would really listen to you, you are crazy. Next we have arguments with teachers. I hate while I'm in class trying to learn and then a student has to pick a fight with a teacher as if they're going to win. Why are you arguing with the teacher? You know you're going to lose. Like, please stop. Please. Like, I, I, I know I'm already passing, but that doesn't mean I can't get a higher grade. Like, please just stop you interrupting me and the other, what, 16, 20 kids in this class because you want to get in an argument with them? Please stop. Please stop. And the next one ties right into arguing. Fights are not entertaining. Okay. Go ahead. Comment down below because I know you were going to. Fights are not entertaining. I'm sorry. They're not. Like, y'all fighting for no reason. But it might be a reason behind it, but that's not going to solve it. Like, y'all still are going to not like each other. Y'all still going to have beef. Y'all still aren't going to um, talk to each other. And then if the person lose, then they still going to be mad. Like, what's... Next we have trying to cheat off of a smart kid's paper. This has happened to me. People have tried to copy off my paper. Pretty sure people have copied off of my paper. I, I don't know. But I try to write my papers as if the teacher knows my writing. Like, they know how I write. So, if you try to copy off of what I say, obviously me and you aren't on the same level. And now you're going to know who wrote it. Like, why even do that? And if you're the smart kid, you, you who's watching this video, if you're the smart kid and somebody's trying to copy off your paper, guess what I'm going to tell you to do? Especially if you're in math write all the wrong answers and then fix them when that person goes to turn in their paper next we have hydro flask a 40 dollar water bottle that isn't really worth it to me if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll import a picture over here over here somewhere 40 dollars basically just a regular thermo and i don't know why y'all gotta get them 
You can just use a regular thermo. Keeps your drinks cold and hot. Like, you're really doing a lot. And with this overpriced stuff, next we're going to talk about a fail Raven Kankin. Um, don't get at me if I'm saying it wrong. I'm about to ask Siri to say it. Fail Raven Kankin. Now I'm going to tell you what that is. Let's see. It's a Swedish company specializing in outdoor equipment. Mostly clothing and rucksacks. I don't know if that helped y'all or not. I don't know what's so amazing about these book bags. They are like an average book bag that I would wear. But if you are into spending $80 for a book bag that is so small, you do it. Next we have Essays Aren't Hard. Now... A lot of people probably disagree with me. I don't know. I don't know how my subscribers are at, at, in ELA. So comment down below. Are essays hard to y'all? Because they aren't to me. I feel like somebody is... I feel like if somebody is smart in math, they are really, 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 really horrible in reading. And if they are really, really good at reading, they're really, really bad at math. Me, I'm really, really good at math, but I'm also good in reading just not as good as i am in math i just feel like math is easy really with essays if you have to expand it you're really just prolonging it and adding elaborations it's really not that hard you learn in sixth grade how to do that maybe fifth grade uh, you probably gonna learn some more in seventh grade I, I don't know but next we have teachers who say you can't use wikipedia y'all if y'all go through this in y'all school, comment down below. I feel like Wikipedia isn't always wrong. I'm really sorry if y'all can hear background noise. But you can't use Wikipedia. Wikipedia is incorrect all the way, like 100% wrong. I feel like people who say you can't use Wikipedia or I'm not going to use Wikipedia because it's incorrect. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Really, all you got to do is background check it. And if you don't background check it, how you know if any information you can use is correct? I feel like when you're writing a paper, you need to background check any information that you are using. You need to make sure that all of that is correct. Next, we have school lunch. Now, everybody, ooh, school lunch is nasty. I don't eat school lunch. It's so disgusting. I got to throw up. Uh, I got to go barf in the bathroom. Now, I somewhat do agree with y'all, but when they have the chicken sandwiches or that chili, it's good. Like, and then y'all be saying it's nasty. So what do y'all eat? Dog food, cat food? Like, please tell me what's good to y'all because y'all saying everything is nasty. The chili, the Thanksgiving meals that they be giving y'all at school for lunch around Thanksgiving time in November. The chicken sandwiches, all that is good. The peanut butter jelly, even the peanut butter jelly good. And y'all saying, I gotta go barf, it's so disgusting. <laughs> Next we have cold water from the water fountain. Water fountain water is disgusting unless it's cold. Are you with me? Please, in the comments, please argue. Please. I cannot drink water, fountain water, if it's warm. I'm sorry. But if the water is cold, that doesn't even mean I'm a drinker because I mostly just take water bottles to school and drink out my water bottle. And then when you take a plastic water bottle and you fill it up with fountain water, it tastes so nasty. Like, I know I'm not the only one. So if y'all take this, just imagine if it was empty. If y'all take this empty Deer Park water bottle and y'all fill it up with fountain water, I know y'all lying to me if y'all say that tastes good. It tastes so dirty. Argue. I'm waiting. The last one we have is third quarter is the worst quarter. Argue with me. I don't care. Y'all probably gonna say fourth quarter is the worst quarter. No. Mm -mm. No. No, no, sweetie. Third quarter is the worst quarter because the teachers are trying to teach you more, 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 more. And I'm about to explain what I'm saying. First and second quarter is the easiest quarter because you're not really doing anything. Second quarter, in the middle of the second quarter is when you really start to learn, like, lessons. But when you get to that third quarter, so let's say we go to school on Monday and we learn a lesson about fractions. Next day, 
they want us to learn something about improper fractions. Now, I'm not saying that they're going too fast for me because I can learn quick and I get the work done. If we on Thursday, they still stuck on like Tuesday, Monday. Like, you got to slow down for some of these kids. That was my last unpopular opinion. So, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. Also, share it with anyone who watches YouTube, your mom, your cousin, your dad, your sisters, your brother, anybody, your favorite auntie, your favorite uncle, everybody. And also, subscribe and click the notification bell. Before we really end this video off, I want to thank you guys for 409 subscribers. Just three weeks ago in my subscribers assumptions, I thanked you guys for 300. That was just three weeks ago. And I'm already past 400. I'm at 409 right now. By the time this video up, I might be further. But my summer goal was 500. And we have about three more weeks until I go back to school. So that's basically still my summer. So like I said, share this video with anybody that you know who watches YouTube. And I would really, really, really appreciate all the love and support. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Where we all on one. You so slick, so small, curvy, teeth all pearly, hair all curly, was a tomboy, now you all girly, never look tired.